Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video we have possibly one of the most popular trainers right now and that is the Mid Blazer 77. Today's video we have two pairs. We have the Mid Blazer 77, the original, and I also have the Jumbo version as well. So we're going to compare them together and see kind of the differences. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Olivia and I do lots of sneaker content. Make sure you subscribe to stay updated with all my latest videos videos and we'll begin today's video. We're going to start off with the Mid Blazer 77s boxing first. They come in the orange night box. Both pairs come in this. I will show you the jumbo pair after we've gone through the Mid Blazer 77. Um, so it's just kind of your plain orange box that you do get. So here we have the Mid Blazer 77. I just got this in the standard white black colorway because I feel like this is literally just a classic. It's so crazy because about 10 years ago I picked up my first blazer I got them in this blue colorway and I love them so much I never threw them away but they kind of went out of fashion so I just held on to them they're still somewhere in my cupboard but they have made a comeback and I feel like they've made a comeback with force so these are vintage style from the 70s as you can see it's a very classic but effective silhouette so these actually originally started as basketball shoes I think at one point over the last 10 years they've been skateboard shoes they've also been kind of in different markets so the more luxurious markets markets. They've done lots and lots of collaborations with Supreme, Comte de Gassan. Recently, I've just picked up the Off-White Blazer Low collaboration. As I said, we are going to look at the Jumbo pair later. Now, the Jumbo pair are very, very similar to the Off-White pairs, which were limited edition, but we'll speak about that later and you'll see what I mean. But yeah, this shoe has been through a lot in the last 10 years. Nowadays, a lot of people have this shoe for kind of multi-purposes. One of the main things I think is that it's kind of like an everyday shoe, like a Vans or a Converse. It's kind of on that level. A lot of people also wear this to the gym. They have it as a gym shoe. When we kind of go into the depths of the shoe, the details, you'll be able to see why, you know, it's suitable for the gym. So if we do look into the closer details of this shoe, the upper is made up of a leather material. In this version, I got the white colorway. As for the kind of quality of the leather, for me, is very, very standard. And then we have this suede accents which come around the toe box and also on the sides of the shoe. We have this in a gray color. It feels kind of fuzzy a little bit rough. Swoosh, as you can see, is kind of the main star of the show for me. And we have this in a nice black suede. If we move on to the laces, laces are pretty basic as far as it goes. We've just got some plain white laces. For me, one of my favorite things about the shoe is the tongue. As you can see, we have a nylon tongue and at the top, it is actually exposed. As for the tongue tag, we have the normal Nike logo and then we have this orange swoosh as well, which is very famous color for this shoe. Moving on to the back of the shoe, as you can see, we just have a plain simple Nike logo at the back. Taking a look inside the shoe as well, you can see that the leather continues in size. So we do have a leather sock lining as well. The midsole and the outsole are actually fused together. And as you can see, we have this textured rubber. We also have another layer of it towards the front as well, which makes for excellent durability. And this midsole and the sole is in an off-white color. It's not the same clean white as the upper. So one thing I really, really like about the shoe, as well as the kind of rubber midsole, you've got this extra layer. And then on top, you do have this suede accents. I feel like it makes for really, really good durability, which is obviously amazing in the gym. I tend to find when my shoes get kind of old or worn out that I usually start getting kind of loose material here. This is where I start getting holes and things like that. So the fact that this has kind of got like extra protection, extra layers makes it all that much better. Another great feature for the shoe is that it is a very, very flat sole. Um, so for exercises like squats and things like that is literally perfect because you don't have kind of any balancing problems, um, any bubbles which will interfere with your balance. One thing about this shoe is that it's a very, very narrow shoe. Inside the shoe as well, I did mention about, you know, the leather sock lining. Um, this for me isn't a problem at all because I don't feel like this is the most comfortable shoe in the world. I'm not kind of trying to get extra padding at the top. But what I would say is that even though it's kind of a mid-size shoe, it's because of the leather is quite soft and, you know, it's not really, really hard. Um, you don't have kind of the really hard ankle support here, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing.
everything at the same time. I feel like you kind of can move your foot. You're a little bit flexible because this does move kind of with you. One thing about this shoe is that they will crease really, really badly because of the leather, because of the material that it is. Um, but I don't think that's actually a bad thing. I think the creases, it's kind of a vintage style shoe anyway. So I feel like the creases will add a good effect onto the shoe. In terms of pricing, these come in at 90 pounds. This is kind of almost double than what you would be paying for Vans or Converse. But I definitely do think that these look better than Vans and Converse as well. And I do think, you know, they're a whole kind of different vibe. So now I've shown you guys the kind of original mid blazer 77. I'm now gonna show you the jumbo versions, which is like another adaptation of the shoe. Um, these come in the normal orange box, exactly the same as the normal mid blazer 77s as well. There is literally no difference. I actually did get these in exactly the same size as well as the mid blazer 77s. And that is my true to size size, which is a size seven. Here we have them. I again went for just the simple white and black colorway as well. As you can see, they are quite different. I mean, they are called jumbo and I feel like you can literally see that instantly. As I mentioned earlier, Nike did a collaboration with Off-White and it was a blazer that was limited edition. These are super, super expensive. Now I put a picture here of what they look like and the price they're going for on stock X. So for me, I think personally, these are really, really good kind of, I wanna say replica, but they're not a replica. They're a very, very good alternative if you are kind of wanting that kind of vibe because there are very, very similar features that we see here on the jumbo version compared to the off-white version. But for now, we're gonna do a comparison of the mid blazer 77s and the jumbo versions. As you can see instantly, I mean, you know, they are called jumbo for a reason. First of all, we're just gonna go in with the swoosh, which is huge. As you can see, we have a jumbo huge swoosh, which actually goes over the midsole, which I absolutely love. But interestingly, around the other side, it doesn't go through the midsole. As you can see, it's kind of cut off. Um, but this is the kind of outside of the shoe. Um, so this is what would kind of everyone would see. As we've seen, the mid blazer 77 just has the normal standard swoosh on both sides. In terms of the upper on both shoes, we do have the normal white leather. Quality, I think, is exactly the same. However, on the jumbo, you will notice that there is some overlapping, some extra stitching going on. Whereas the mid blazer 77, you know, is quite standard, quite simple. Um, another huge, huge feature is obviously the laces. We have some jumbo laces here. These are the standard ones. They also feel a lot softer. They're obviously a lot thicker. I absolutely love these laces. I feel like they just take the shoe to a whole another level. On the jumbo, just as we've seen before, we do have a gray suede accent on the toe box. However, we only have it here. And this feels a lot softer than the mid blazer 77. This one's kind of furry, whereas this is a more smooth suede. You will also notice as well, we do have that orange stitching as well which kind of gives me the off-white vibes absolutely love the orange i feel like it's so subtle but so good whereas obviously on the mid blazer 77 we really don't have any orange apart from the orange logo on the tongue tag um moving on to the tongue tag we have a completely different tongue we still have a nylon tongue we still have the exposed bit at the top um but instead we have a huge huge logo and then we also have this tongue tag here as well which is in this bright orange but it kind of covers it kind of covers the logo which is a bit strange and um, but i feel like this you know it's just all about the kind of orange effect and the jumbo effect another huge huge feature about the jumbo is that you will notice that we have different heels as you can see we have this elasticated material which is supposed to help you get the shoe on a lot more easier and it definitely does i feel like one of the reasons that this crease is so bad is that it's kind of hard getting your foot in here because it's so narrow and then the leather you kind of it's just a little bit messy when you put your foot in everything kind of squashes but the elasticated heel tab makes it so much more easier so much more flexible to just kind of pull it back and slip your foot in also we do have this heel tab here as well and then as you can see we just have some little more details here we do have the orange stitching as well which obviously we don't have on the mid blazer 77 obviously because of this elasticated heel we don't have the kind of leather sock lining what we see here and um, we obviously have the elasticated material and then it just goes down to normal sock lining um, at the bottom of the shoe. In terms of the midsole and the outsole, again, we do have a fused midsole and outsole. We do also have this in the textured rubber and we also do have that kind of extra layer that I was talking about at the front. However, this textured rubber feels a lot more smoother on the hand. Again, we do have this in the off-white color. It is not a clean white. And then if 
we move on to the outsole, I think another, again, a huge difference is that we have this jagged outsole and it kind of gives you a little bit of height. So it kind of looks a bit like a platform shoe because of this. Um, whereas obviously the original is literally just plain flat. So maybe this wouldn't be as good as a gym shoe, but I do feel like it is still pretty flat. But yeah, this is gonna give you a little bit of extra height if that is something you're looking for. I feel like platform shoes at the moment are so, so popular. Um, so I can definitely see why they've done this. These come in at hundred pounds, which is about 10 pounds more than these ones. So very, very similar in pricing. In terms of comfortability, I find them kind of very, very similar. I do find this one a little bit more comfortable because obviously you have this jagged outsole, which kind of, you know, you're not literally on the floor. Whereas this is so flat, I feel like you can literally feel the floor. Personally, I do think that they give off a very, very different vibe. So I feel like this one maybe is more of a kind of going out shoe, whereas this one is a little bit more casual. One thing I do say is that I kind of have problems with mid-sized shoes because sometimes they make my feet look really, really big. And obviously because this is a jumbo, it's got a lot more going on. It's a lot more kind of heavier. You've got the sole, which is a lot thicker because of this jagged outsole. I do feel like this shoe makes my feet look a lot bigger because um, I feel like I generally have big feet. So I kind of don't want to get shoes that make my feet look bigger. Whereas I feel like because this is a very basic shoe, you know, this definitely makes my foot look bigger. But I do think it kind of just depends on your personal preference. What do you actually want the shoe for? And obviously, if you're not a fan of the kind of jumbo thickness of this shoe, then I would definitely go for this one. But if you're looking for something a little bit extra, then I would definitely recommend the jumbo blazer. The good thing about these is that you can get them in a lot of different colorways. If you kind of want a bit more of a jazzier pair than just plain black and white, and then you can definitely find a lot of colorways online. They also do come in the low top versions as well. I do think I prefer the low top versions. I feel like they're a lot easier to get on um, and they're a lot easier to style. But having said that, like a black and white pair, like they're very, very simple shoes at the end of the day. So you can wear a lot of fits with them. In terms of sizing, as I said, I did get a size seven for both of them, which is my true to size size. One thing I must say though, is that the mid blazer 77 is very, very narrow. The jumbo is actually not that bad. I would say it's pretty normal. And um, so if you do have narrow feet, maybe I would recommend going a zero point five size up. Let me know what you guys think about today's shoes in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.